So finally, you have your dream gaming a PC, your gaming peripherals, your monitor, your gaming a chair. What's the next step to take your gaming setup to the next level? And that, of course, is going to be a gaming desk like the one we have here, which is the Mars 120 from a Cougar. Now, I have actually built my own gaming desk previously, but if you're not that savvy with your hands, if I'm also not even really that, if you rather just want to buy one and get it done and have everything set up completely just the way you want it, then a desk like this is going to be a great option for you. And sometimes the, the craftsmanship is going to be a lot better as well. <laughs> Mine wasn't necessarily the most sturdiest and also the material wasn't necessarily the best. But we'll forget about that because we have the Mars 120 here. So this desk is currently retailing for around $175 on Amazon or 4,100 Rand for here in South Africa, which actually isn't a bad for a gaming desk with, of course, RGB lighting and all of that. The one I built was around 100 plus dollars. So, and that I had to do everything myself and it was kind of a bit of a, a handful project. So even though it was quite simple, but this is just set up, you just put in all of the screws, which is also really simple. And there you have it. No fiddling around with uh, extra stuff that you actually need. You get a, actually a lot more with this desk, which we'll go over. But now this is not the only desk that you actually get from Cougar. You do have a few options available depending on your price range and also features that you want. You have the Damius 120, the normal Mars RGB, which is slightly larger, and also the Mars Pro 150, which is slightly larger and has an upgraded control unit. And then finally you have the eMars, which is their electronic sit stand gaming desk, which is similar to the Mars Pro, but now you can go from a 70 cent centimeters all the way up to 1.15 meters if you want to stand and game and work and rather do that instead but it is quite a bit more expensive so you do have a few options there all right so starting off with the top of the desk it is a wood but it's wrapped with a carbon fiber wrap which does look really nice but what makes it a bit more unique compared to just a normal desk that you can also wrap with a carbon fiber wrap is that you do have the rounded and curved corners all around the side so you do actually have a more kind out indent here uh, where you sit which does put you a bit closer to your keyboard and uh, mouse and also because of the rounded sides here it's actually very comfortable to rest your arms on there uh, or your wrists and not really having to dig into your arms compared to a normal desk with a 90 degree side that can actually dig into your arms a bit so I do really appreciate that now Cougar does state that it features an anti-scratch surface which I don't know about that one because I do already see some scratches here. It's not anything too deep, but now because it's a wrap, of course, it is going to get some scratches and luckily with the carbon fiber, it doesn't show that easily, but it is going to get that. So do be careful. If you do have a large mouse pad, extended mouse pad, you can use one of those, uh, especially if you do move a keyboard around quite a lot. Uh, for the Surface, it actually does work quite well with a mouse as well for our air blader here. It does a move around on the carver very smoothly. Now, as for build quality, I have to say that it does feel very sturdy. It doesn't really wobble around uh, thanks to the steel legs. Now, unfortunately, again, it's not able to go up and down. It does have a fixed height of uh, 80 centimeters, which is a bit high for me. Honestly, I would have liked it closer to 70, which for me is still okay if I do put my chair at its max height. But I do feel that if you are a bit shorter, I'm a 1.86 or 6.1 feet. If you're shorter than that, or maybe be a child and you want to sit on the desk, uh, your feet will probably not touch the floor if your chair is at its max height. So just keep that in mind as well. Now, so for the tops of measurement, it does have a length of 1,246 millimeters by 736 millimeters. So it's not the largest desk, but you'll be able to fit a ultra wide here, even one of those 49 inches uh, of modern ultra wide as well, super ultra wide. Or if you want to get a dual monitor, be able to fit that or one and one vertical it's going to have a plenty of enough space for that i currently just have a single 27 inch right here and it fits pretty well 
All right, now let's get into the control box over here, which allows you to actually control the RGB, but also give you two USBs, one USB 3 and one USB 2, and then also two 3.5 millimeters for your headphone and also for your microphone. Now, unfortunately, it is a pass-through, so all of the cables that goes towards your PC, and there's quite a few of them, as you can imagine, so you will need to connect those to your PC to be able to get all of the connections, and then also one extra USB for the RGB lighting. Now I think that it would have been really nice if maybe it was like a USB hub with a single USB going towards your PC, powering all the other USBs, the audio connections, and then also the RGB or maybe two USBs. But instead you have all of those cables that you need to neatly hide and also again connect towards your PC. So it is going to take some cable management uh, to neatly hide everything, but we'll also get into that. Now one thing that I didn't like that much is that the controller is a fix on the right side. Unfortunately, you can't move it to the left side. I would have liked if that was a possibility, uh, but I know because you need to screw it in, there's already pre-screwed holes there. So that is unfortunate. I would have liked it was able to maybe, I know it's a small desk, but maybe put your desktop on the right side here and also have the rest on the left side. I think that would have been really cool uh, having all of the RGB and your desk as well. But uh, it's not the end of the world. Luckily, you can just put your desk on the side or maybe even have like a small shelf on the side which you can put your desk in there as well. So it's not the end of the world, but but I think it would have been a, a nice option at least. All right, so next up, let's get into what makes the desk a bit more unique than others, and that is the RGB here on the sides. So it's nothing too crazy. It's just a nice little diffuse light strip there, but it does look really nice to me. Now, for all of the people who don't necessarily like RGB, you do have plenty of options. You can turn it off or even put it on a static color, which we'll get into. But I do like the effect and it does fit the gaming scene a bit more. Now, as for the lighting, you can either control it with the control box here where you have your button, or you can actually connect it to your PC, your, your motherboard, a five volt addressable RGB header and control it through that. But I found it easy just to easily tap it on the button here. Now I do have around 15 effects. One of them, of course, being the rainbow wave effect, which I do personally like. Then you also get a color cycle, which is going to cycle in and out of the different colors. You have your color breathing effect, static, which has a red, orange, yellow, light yellow, green, light green, blue, aqua, purple, pink, light pink and also white, although the white does have more of a, a bluish tint to it. And then also all. Oh. Now then getting into the main existence of any gaming desk, and that's going to be cable management. Now, unfortunately, this model does not feature any cable management trays or anything like that. Some of the other models actually do, which is really nice. This one, does not. This one does feature some of those under desk cable tie thingies that you can stick underneath the desk, which does work really well. You get around four of them, but you're definitely going to need quite a bit more to actually neatly hide all of your cables, especially if you do have additional items on your desk, like our RGB headphone stand, also our bungee here. Those do feature additional cables as well. So I did use some of my other cable clips to, to neatly hide those as well for the single cables. I did also include two of my cable sleeves to neatly hide some of my cables. It's not the best job because I am going to move the desk, but uh, you do have that option to neatly hide the thick couple of cables, especially coming from the control box there. So you will need to do some proper cable management to neatly hide everything, but luckily there are a lot of products that you are able to get to actually do the job. I actually see now that uh, the cables are a bit too heavy where it actually pull off the sticky cable ties. So I'm going to have to redo those. So. Uh, yeah, just <laughs> cable management is going to be a bit of a bother, but make sure you do a proper job because you don't really want to see any of your cables. Now, wrapping up the video with some additional thoughts that I think that could make the desk a lot uh, better, which I even might do just on my own. And that is going to be maybe some RGB strips underneath the desk to give you a nice RGB glow or just a single static glow towards the floor. 
That is one thing. I might also add a multi-plug underneath the desk to keep all of the cables uh, neatly hidden there where I don't have any cables on the floor. That's going to work nice, I think, as well. I did that with my other desks and it works perfectly, so I might do that. Also, I might probably add an additional USB hub underneath the desk as well. And then also maybe one of those headphone anchors, hangers, they can actually stick underneath the desk also. I think that's going to work very, very well. I'll just show you guys some of my ideas, but I, I might actually do that to make the desk just a bit more unique and also fit my needs a better, but there's options that you can add if you want to do that yourself. And also I might even take this the frame off and add my uh, electronic sit stand frame that I actually have, which is just in the corner there. I might even add that as well. Why, why not? I do have one, so I, I can actually do that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for our look at the Cougar Mars 120. A big shout out to Cougar South Africa for sending it over for our video and then also allowing me to keep it as well to feature it in different videos. I think it's going to look really nice showcasing some other peripherals and monitors and so on with the RGB and the carbon fiber. I think it's going to look really nice. Now, if you want to get it for yourself, I will leave links in the video description so you can check those out and then also the other options as well. But anyway, thanks for watching guys and I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe and comment like always. I'll check all of you next time. Cheers guys.